Hi, this is John Ainsley from Doulos. In this short video, I'm going to say a few words about why you might want to learn Python and also describe the Python training options available from Doulos. Let's start by saying a few words about Python itself. Python is a general purpose programming language. Python is an interpreted language, which means there's no separate compilation step. It's very, very simple to edit and run Python code. You can even execute Python commands interactively from the command line. Python's a very compact language. You can achieve a lot with a small number of lines of code. Python code is also very readable. Python is often compared to pseudocode. Python code looks a little bit like an English language description of the code itself. All of this makes Python very, very quick and easy to use. Python sometimes referred to as a very high level language. Python is a long way removed from the machine it's running on. All of this makes Python very, very productive to use. You can get up and running with Python very, very quickly, and then you can achieve a lot with Python very quickly. The core Python language is actually very small. A lot of the content is in the Python standard library. So Python has a small core language and a large standard library wrapped around it. There's then a huge development community developing Python code, and many of the Python developers share their code back to the community in the form of third-party packages. And these packages are made available to the community in a standard way, so you always know exactly where to look for Python code and what it's going to look like when you get hold of it. Python's often said to use the philosophy of batteries included. This means that Python features usually work straight away out of the box. It also means that whatever you might reasonably want to do in the software world, there's probably a Python package in existence already to do it. So once again, it's very, very easy to find the Python code that you want and to start using it, which makes Python very popular. Technically, Python is a programming language that uses dynamic typing. That is, every value in Python is strongly typed, but the types are only known dynamically as the code executes. Python is intrinsically an object-oriented programming language. And Python also supports functional programming. It's the functional programming features of Python that often make Python programs so compact. Python also supports metaprogramming. Metaprogramming means using Python to extend the Python language itself or to change the behaviour of some of the Python language constructs. Python is also extensible by writing new packages in C or C++. So Python is a very compact language, a very powerful language. It's quick and easy to use. And Python has attracted a group of very enthusiastic followers and users, known as Pythonistas or Pythoneers. People can easily become very enthusiastic about Python because it's both a very elegant language and a very powerful language to use. So what does Python get used for? Well, Python is heavily used for web programming, web development in general. Python is used in scientific and numerical computing. And Python is also used for all sorts of side tasks. So Python gets used for scripting, for gluing things together, and for automating small tasks. Python is used for doing small tasks because Python is so quick and easy to use. But that doesn't mean actually that Python can only be used for small tasks. Python is capable of doing the heavy lifting. It just tends to get used for the small tasks because it's so easy to learn and so quick and easy to use. When it comes to embedded systems, Python can be used in a number of ways. Python can be used for scripting software tool flows. It can be used for embedded systems test or for embedded software test. Python can also be used as an embedded programming language, that is, Python code running on an embedded device. Although, I guess Python is regarded as a secondary embedded programming language. I'm sure you realise that the main programming languages used for embedded software are still C and C++ and Java and a few others. But Python can be used for embedded programming. So in particular, there's a dialect of Python known as MicroPython. That's a cut-down version of Python that can be included within an embedded system. System. And there's a board, the Pi board, that you can buy as a demo board for MicroPython. The Pi board natively runs MicroPython as its operating system in effect. 
There's also Pink, which is an open source project from Xilinx. There's already a Pink development board available. So when it comes to training, Dulos offer a two-day training course, Essential Python. At Dulos, we primarily deliver training in hardware design, hardware verification, and embedded software development. So our Python training class is mainly aimed at our existing market. So we're typically aiming at hardware or software design or verification professionals who are looking to use Python as an adjunct to their main job. So maybe people who are using Python for scripting EDA flows or software tool flows, or perhaps people who want to use Python for embedded software tests. The two-day essential Python training class looks like this. During this class, we focus mainly on the core language. We also give an introduction to how to get running with Python in a shell or a Python development environment. We teach the object-oriented constructs of Python. We show how to use Python modules and packages and use the standard library and give an introduction to unit testing in Python. The Essential Python class teaches something like 90% of the core language and at a guess something like 10% of the standard library. So we teach how to use Python properly. You'll get a good feeling of the right way to write Python code. You'll get a very thorough tuition on the core Python language and also an introduction to all the features and scope of the standard Python library and the third party add on packages. So you can start to explore the standard library and the add on packages for yourself. There are some prerequisites for attending Essential Python. Essential Python assumes that you know how to program already, so that you'll already be a programmer using C, C, Java, VHDL, or System Verilog, maybe. It helps if you've already got some object-oriented programming experience, but it's not essential. So at Dulos, we deliver training in a range of topics, including electronic hardware design and verification, and also embedded systems and embedded software. So we can offer training in embedded C, embedded C++, embedded Linux and Yocto, real-time operating systems, embedded system security, and of course, Python. <laughs>